Hey, what's up? Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's a Tuesday morning. As you can tell, we're very excited to have you in our company as we start a brand new day and uh, get you updated on all the latest things going on around the world, especially right now in the world of technology. And technology is going eco-friendly. Now, in an yes. attempt to move towards an eco-friendly road, um, Germany has started testing their first e-highway, guys. Mm. Now, it's a 10-kilometer stretch of a road between Frankfurt and Darmstadt um, that has electric cables overhead capable of charging special hybrid trucks while they drive. Now, the trucks use something called a pantograph, which is the same device trains use to latch onto the overhead cables and draw electricity. Now it's a small experiment at the moment with only five trucks running, but they do hope to scale up over time and encourage truck manufacturers to go electric and make use of this Ooh. incredible highway. Whoa. Optimus Prime. E-highway. Just yeah. made his way. So then you're gonna have a highway kind of um, lined with these cables wherever you go. Yeah. I'm always worried about like the aesthetic of it all because like when you're in those cities that have trams mm -hmm. and you look up and it's just cables, cables, yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I don't want to see that. But for yeah. this, if it's on a highway and it's saving the environment because we're cutting down on fuel usage, then but imagine it in a place like Cape Town where all the trucks on the road get their own highways. So they won't be on our road anymore, and they'll yeah. be going green. That's cool. Or can they create one for the taxis also? Yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> a road just for them. Just, just for them. Don't just, they have that already? It's their road. No, they've got a lane. Yeah. No, that, no, you're right. They have that already. <laughs> Kat, you're right. We must just all be on the, you know. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> but that's really, wow. really cool stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will happen in the near future. But let's take you back. How about 25 years ago? Um, older millennials might remember this. Uh, a little handheld device that came around way before smart watches, smartphones, wearable technology. And it was called the Tama. Gochi. Anybody? Ooh, yes, 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 yes. I had one. We all had one. So now, as I said, almost 25 years later, this the, the original. Yeah, that's what it looked uh -huh. like. Came in all forms and shapes and stuff. But now there's a new one coming out called the Tamagotchi On, and it still features the same uh, design. It said as the original one, but it's slightly bigger oh, with wow. some updated features as well. Look at that! That's crazy. Oh, that's and as you can see, uh, most dominantly, a color display. So um, you would have this egg, right, that would start, it would hatch, yeah. and then you would grow this pet, yes. this digital pet. Yeah, you would love feed it. it, love it, make sure it slept when it was crying, you had to do this kind of thing. Now, with this new one, you can now connect with other Tamagotchi users. Yeah. You can, you can, they can fall in love. Oh, wow. They can, they can, you know, they, they, <laughs> they can build a family, and they, you can even go like 16 generations you deep into it. empire. You can, oh, wow. Listen, it's crazy. It's amazing. Now, now, hey, hey, that's madness. That's the mad things. Look at that. And you can even connect it to your oh smartphone goodness. as well um, if you want. There's an app that'll allow you to live your best Tamagotchi life. This is like Tamagotchi slash Pokemon Go crossing and now, you know. Slash Tinder, yeah. Slash yeah. Tinder. <laughs> we all, we all think it's, 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 ba it's basically like, oh, look, we have a family. Yeah. Because if my Tamagotchi gets a date before me, I'm going to be very <laughs> oh. upset. I'm be really uh, upset. Anyway, shall we move to gaming since it is Gaming Tuesday? Uh, we're looking back at a game on Nintendo Switch that actually took top honors at the Indie Game of the Year. Let's take a look as uh, Graham gets into some gaming. <laughs> 